Bust down Rolly for the hell of it It's my time to shine, spotlights is my element Fuck a plain Jane, don't insult my intelligence I don't plan on selling it, so I don't see the relevance Them niggas having porn shop nightmares I'm light years ahead of niggas, even on a light year Don Perignon, stain the laces of my night years Born poor, but I'ma die rich, nigga, life's fair I don't have the disposition to be an executive yet. Got you. I'm just a production company that knows how to make beats, and that's what I should have did. Mm. Stayed in your lane. Stayed production. in my lane. Mm. Instead, I took on more than I can chew, and I wasn't prepared. And that's what we have to do. We have to, as men say, I fucked that up. I hired all the wrong people, hired my friends, hired all the not qualified, but come on board. Thinking I'm puff. I can I got the glow. Like you got the glow, come on board. <laughs> <laughs> bad move, bad move, nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm fucking this up. Mm. So let me let me bow out gracefully. You know what I'm saying? This mm. ain't where it's at. So but this will be the first time you, in your career, in the trajectory of your career, the history of your career, where you DIY'd something and it didn't work. Every other time you jumped in with something that you weren't super familiar with, you were able to make it happen. Can't really blame you for betting on yourself at this one. Well, again. Those things that I took a chance on myself had already a foundation laid. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of was standing on their foundation. So if I fell, it was a little more cushiony. Mm -hmm. With my label, I didn't. It was all you. It was all wood you. floors, nigga. Mm -hmm. cement. So that was the difference. So I, I, I could have made a bad decision in some of them cases, and there might have been somebody there to catch it mm -hmm. and fix I it. See. See what I'm saying I here, see. I was the last straw. So my decision, if it was bad, it was bad. It was going to stay bad. Mm -hmm. That's that's where the problem came in. I wasn't educated enough, and I didn't educate myself enough to run a label. So that was my bad. So that's why Crazy Cat came and went. You know what I'm saying? It like, wasn't because of the music. I think I had that down pat. It was, I just Everything over. outside of the music. Yeah, I Everything was, else. I was whack CEO. Hmm. Whack. Hmm. But Did you try again? I did. No, no. I decided that's not something I should do. Productions I did because that I can handle. One artist, a production, paperwork, that I can do. Right. So the Tracy Lees, the Black Rob one-offs, I can do that all day. But four artists, six producers, Kanye, Coptic, Blake, all these people I'm managing and all that, Charlemagne, I'm doing all that. Ah, it's too much. Do you, do you feel like you dropped the ball with uh, 50? No, in what way? I, I, 50 wasn't my artist. I know, but artist. The, the How to Rob record. You guys collaborated on that. We didn't collaborate, no. That mm -hmm. record happened simply because of Rich Nice. Um, 50 was working with Trackmasters. Mm -hmm. Rich Nice was at Columbia, and they had made that record, and they needed a hook. And I was holding down Jimmy Henchman's studio at the time, and he just called me up on the phone and said, Dad, I need a hook for this artist we got named 50 Cent. And that, that's and, how that came and to then He came to the studio at 2 o'clock in the morning. It was pouring down rain. I heard the record. I said, oh, my God, this is perfect. He sounded like... Like he could be my artist, Mad Rap, it was perfect. He had to change some lines because the Mariah, I mean the uh, Mary J. Blige and Case was originally Mariah and Tommy. He had to take it out for the politics. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a wow. couple of lines he took out for the politics Policy. of that building. But um, yeah. There was so, there a Nas line in there? Originally? I believe so. There was a Nas line, I believe it was in there. But, um, so I, I wrote the hook right there at the spot. This ain't serious, me and Broken. I met him maybe three or four weeks later. I hadn't even met him. Hmm. So it wasn't even a collaboration. Mm, it was God. just Rich Nice. No Shout out to Rich. There. there was no relationship there. I just mm. met him. And then once we met, we clicked. I met a young Tony Yayo and we hit the road. We actually hit the road. I got videos yeah. of us on the road. We did the African American Day Parade. We did Hot 97. We, we was in Miami. We did some shows together. I got right. some of that on video. But then that was it. Once that died, we never shot a video for it. Yeah. So none of that happened. So that record kind of came and went and then he was off and running and that was it. So it wasn't like we had no, we really didn't have no. Right, was that on the Rivers, nigga? No, 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 how to rob. How to rob. Yeah, how to rob. How to rob. So, so to this day, when we see each other, it's pounds and pounds, but it wasn't like, it wasn't a long lasting friendship because of that one record, right. you know, because that really wasn't the one that propelled him into stardom. Once he got to Dr. Dre and them, that, that was a whole nother level, but we still cool. Like, if we, you know, see him, love, everything, but that was it. There was no real communication on that. Always wanted to know this. Yeah. You looked around like, no, this is it just came, this it just came back now. to my, okay, yeah, it just yeah. came back to my. Let me my sit mind. up too, cause you you made this shit <laughs> interesting. I'm thinking like, yo, what's, what's going on? I gotta prepare, nigga. Just rewinding a little bit. Okay. 
Was there a dig em up record? No. It wasn't, it was talked about. It was talked about. Oh, yeah, it was talked about. What do you mean dig em up? What's that? We were uh, after, to Tupac, hit him up. after Tupac passed. That's was, how the Mad Rapper yeah. came up, by the way. You asked about who it was about? Yeah. It's because one day we were sitting in the studio and I asked the gentleman when the hit em up video came out. Because we sit in the studio one day and back then the videos used to get announced. Like premiere of this video. Right. So somebody from the front desk came running in, oh BT's about to show the, 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 the new Tupac video. And we watching it like this, it's just a you hear a pin drop. Mm. Like these niggas is not, they not playing. They not this is oh shit. Oh shit. So Big man is like, he ready to start. And we like, mm, we gonna kill him with kindness. We gonna kill him with these hit records. That's it. Why? Because that's not who we was anyway. We was never the aggressors. We wanna have a good time. We wanna make some money. We, we have gangsters around us, but again, the path of least resistance. Mm. Why? That's what they wanted us to do. So and what about who it. shot you? That was way before that shit happened. Who shot you was recorded in 94. Everybody got that story wrong. Mm. I think he recorded who shot you in 94. But to the fans, it's like it came like right after that. Again, we doing that. Purist, whatever it is. I got facts. I got dats. Right. Right. But, but you had to know how you had to know it. how it was gonna look. Right. That's how it looked. Again, we didn't care. Because we have the facts. facts. The people with the most opinions have the fewest facts. Because if you have facts, it limits your opinions. Right. It's that simple. Who shot you was not about Tupac. But then I asked y'all about that verse. Because there is a verse where he says, bandanas, tattoos, my fist never bruised. Land still cruise, Frank Wright paid his dues. Ask who boss, people say Papa Very. Look forward to me like commissary. All of a sudden, now everybody done did it, done did it. Get your head split in, get your neck. He went to the, did all of that. Right. And then after the end, he said, round and round, upside and down. Now. That is talking yeah, about no. Tupac. <laughs> Greatest feeling in the world was holding my own gun. I'm hypertensive, but all my decisions been wholesome. My independence had me flipping on siblings I stole from. Said I'm just big and loud. Well, half a pound is my silent treatment. I punched out plugs I could have stopped from eating. Jackie Gleason on the TV while his mama sleeping. That plate was made, or he got that chick for late like she Polynesian. The fucking niggas do to me though. So I stand there blinded while my jewelry glows.